going on YouTube? Jim with Omaha Air Tactical and today we're looking at the Echo One Timberwolf. This is a 2013 model. Great, great all around gun. I have two of them. I love them. The accuracy is spot on. The adjustment of the hop up is so easy and we'll go through all that here really quickly. Um, this is the 2013 model. It's not that much different from the previous model except for now it does come with a case. Which is really nice because the case is actually a durable um, Cordura. It's a good good quality product. Plus it's free. The price didn't go up. So what we have here, we have a standard kind of Glockish style pistol. However, this does have some really neat features on it. It does have a safety underneath there that's in the Picatinny rail, um, which is kind of rare on these guns. They put that on there for added safety. Uh, the magazine is a standard double stack and the gas fill is at the bottom as well as the release valve being at the top. Um, they hold about 24 rounds, so you have plenty of plenty of rounds to play with. Uh, the slide, really good metal. It actually has the LWD Old Town Idaho trademarks on the barrel itself. Uh, this assembly of this guy is really simple, just like the rest of them. Pull down the two tags, or the two tabs, sorry, and remove the slide. What I want to show you is the hop-up adjustment on this guy. It's a Tokyo Marui style hop-up adjustment that's very accurate. It's on the bottom. It's a simple dial that you can rock back and forth to get the most out of this gun. And trust me, it works very, very well. I've had, um, I've had shots and I've had outs done about 125 feet with this pistol. It's amazing. Um, magazine, good quality metal, nice quality uh, throughout. The polymers are great on it. Echo One did an incredible job putting this thing together. And also, this does come with two different back straps. Um, people with small hands will appreciate that because we have one that's simply removed. The other one is actually in the case and it's actually flat. You'll see the bump difference. I like this one. gives me a little bit firmer feel and a little bit more positive grip on it. Um, basically, for 135 bucks, you cannot go wrong with this product. This is an amazing gun. Uh, we have a very, very strong buy on this. Um, just due to the overall quality and price, you can't you can't beat it. The action is really nice. The blowback is really solid. Um, we're gonna chrono this guy quick. We'll come back. We'll do a wrap up of it. This one has actually been fired over a thousand times, and it's just as crisp as it was when I took it out of the box. So um, another thing, if you're interested, a lot of people want to know what holsters these fit into directly. They actually fit in the Glock 21 Serpa holster or any of the larger flight, or frame Glock holsters. This is a very positive lock. Um, fits just like it should. Uh, the Glock 20s do not work without some modifications to the inside. So let's go chrono this. These are my two. We're going to go see what they shoot. See you in a minute. feet per second, anywhere from 303 to 305. Um, perfect for CQB. Don't let the FPS of this gun fool you. It reaches out there quite a way. And it is a incredible gun. Um, we have a lot of different guns in the store. This is, like I said, my favorite. Reliability, uh, very, very few issues. Um, we have had nothing traumatic come through. Broke a few mags by dropping them on a concrete floor, but that's going to be expected from from anything. <clears throat> that's it. Great pistol. 304 FPS. You have a rail on the bottom. You can put any light you want to on it. And I'll just demonstrate that really quick. Really fast. Any standard rail item will go on the bottom. Just like that. So you can have your light and your cake and eat it too if you buy the Echo One Timberwolf. Great product, strong buy, $135.99, can't go wrong with that. Jim with Omaha Air, we'll see you later, man.
Okay, so Tomahawk. <laughs> hey, three, two, one. You're supposed to say three, uh, two, one. I'm not gonna stop talking about old town. <laughs> My hat's off. Uh. Crap! That's not right. <laughs>